I've had a tremendous opportunity of visiting many of our schools in the last couple of months and engaging with our very passionate teams and that has been tremendously beneficial and exciting for me. It's enabled them to give us feedback on points and issues of relevance uh, and for us to take that back into the organisation and understand how we want to respond to that. And part of this feedback is to develop a programme that we can indeed do that. We can respond to our schools in a way that is meaningful and relevant uh, and provide some insights on where we are as an organisation. The first area of major feedback received has, has been that of communication and feedback. And we acknowledge in an organisation as large as ours that this is not an easy process and task at all, but it is critically important and it is also important that this is a two-way process. We need to give feedback, but in turn we also need to get feedback from the schools and our staff within the schools as well. In the spirit of this, we've decided that we're going to launch a video clip feedback initiative. This is going to be accompanied by uh, printed material as well. And we'll be encouraging and requesting our principals to spend some time in the staff rooms with the staff, showing them these video clips, as well as going through some of the printed material. And at the end of that, having a relevant and sensible engagement on what they have just seen. And based on that, to provide further feedback to us on how this can be enhanced or other areas of relevance that they would like feedback on. The second area as a common theme coming through from feedback from staff is that of being able to find ways of assisting our staff in these really difficult financial conditions. We understand and acknowledge that we're working in a very, very tough economic environment and that is impacting us all. So we continuously try and look and establish programs that we can roll out to assist our staff uh, in these difficult circumstances. The first of those that we had identified earlier this year is what we call the Employee Referral Scheme. Okay. In this regard, we are encouraging staff to identify talent outside of our organisation who they can refer into Advertech and we will accordingly uh, recognise and reward them through an incentive scheme. We all see, also see that this is very beneficial because of the fact that these staff will be known to us as opposed to completely unknown. And in this regard, we believe the calibre of individual that we can get into Advertech can be significantly enhanced. The second area that has only just recently been launched is that of the student referral scheme. Again, we believe that our staff are key ambassadors for our schools and our brands. And in that regard, if we can harness that reality and leverage it for the benefit of not only the schools, we can also then extend some kind of a reward program to the staff for referring students into our schools. We see this really as a win-win. Most of our schools have embraced these two initiatives uh, very openly, willingly, and with a high degree of enthusiasm. Okay. There's been a minority of uh, staff who have a moral and ethical dilemma with the concept of taking any form of financial gain for these kind of initiatives. And to those I'd like to say I understand and acknowledge that, but would like to encourage you to find some other way to use such rewards. And that could perhaps be some kind of a social scheme that you want to contribute to, or it could be some kind of a school project that you would rather uh, move those funds to. The third area of feedback from our staff has been a desire to get more feedback on topics of interest and relevance to them that are happening both within the schools division and in the broader education sector. With this in mind, we have identified various parties within the schools division who are going to be preparing video clips and other material so that we can provide that feedback to you all in the coming months. And we do hope that you find this interesting and of relevance and of benefit to you in your roles in the schools. The fourth area of feedback received has been a desire to get more feedback on the progress and successes that we are achieving within the schools division. And there are many. The first one that I would like to uh, refer to is that of Stacy. Most of our schools have settled well into Stacy, and each reporting cycle has become easier and easier. Any system has to go through evolution and we understand and appreciate that there is still a lot of work to do on Stacy to take it to the next level. And as you are well aware, we have teams working on this all the time. 
A recent school visited reminded us that it in fact took three years to implement and bed down pencil box all those many years ago when it was implemented. I would however like to thank all of you for your efforts, your time and your commitment in helping us make Stacey a success. The second area of progress and feedback I'd like to highlight is that of sales guru training. In the recent weeks, we have engaged with a sales guru and external third party who are experts in sales and marketing, and they have been helping us develop a mechanism of improving our customer service to our parents and our prospective parents. In this regard, they've helped us develop playbooks for all of our forward-facing staff. And this will ensure that we increase our level of professionalism uh, to our prospective parents and make sure that we uh, are able to leverage any potential enrollment opportunity. We are also following through this initiative with what we call mystery calls. These calls are going into the campuses and we receive feedback from sales guru as to what the experience was. And I'm delighted to feedback that the first cycle of these calls has been extremely positive for most of our schools. The, the great part of it is that the reports we get back enable all of those teams to reflect and improve their performances even further. The third area of progress and success that I'd like to highlight is that of our online re-enrollment process that we have just launched. This has been rolled out over the last week and 27,000 emails have gone out to our parents in an email campaign with relevant information such as codes of conduct, fees booklets, etc. that'll enable them to understand what they're committing to for the 2020 academic year and ask them for confirmation of their re-enrollment and should they not be re-enrolling to highlight why that is the case. This affords us the opportunity of understanding at a, at a much uh, earlier time what the level of re-enrollments will be for our next year and also enable us to identify those parents and students not returning and give us the ability to urgently engage with them to understand if there's any way we can impact that decision uh, to ensure that we try and retain as many of our students as possible. I'm pleased to advise that in a number of our school examples, we have had more than a 60% parents' response rate within the first 24 hours of these campaigns. And for me, that is exceptional. I would like at this time to thank each and every one of you for the contribution that you have made to your schools and your brands under very difficult circumstances and wish you all the very best on this last part of your academic journey for the 2019 year. Thank you.